What's up guys, it's Divine. First ever vlog, we're gonna be hitting chess today. This is my brother Corey, this is my brother Cameron. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks on how I train chess. I'm gonna have them do the demonstrations. Stay tuned. One more thing guys, we did a video last week, kind of an introduction of what we did in the gym. If you guys wanna see that video, the link below. All right guys, so right now I'm just strapping up my wrist. Make sure they don't get injured. We're gonna toss up some heavy weight. Um, afterwards, we're gonna warm up with some push-ups. So I was have one of my chest, just three sets, 25, some easy work. I can feel the conversation starting to arrive. I'm a living legend. I'm a broken man. Who are you? So who are you today? Everybody's got demons. And sometimes they take control. Everybody's got demons. Sometimes they got to go. just did our three sets. So now we're about to get to the first exercise. I like to start my chest days with incline dumbbell presses. To me, it focuses a lot more on the chest than say typically a barbell would. So yeah, I'm gonna knock this set out and then I'm gonna show you and kind of talk through as Cameron and Corey kind of does it so you guys get a deeper feel of how I do it, my temples and all that. Let's go, baby. That was just 12 reps. Decent tempo, not too slow, not too fast. We're not jerking the weight up. And you don't want to dip your shoulders way past. You don't want to do all that. I'm going to show you guys when they hit their set. So there's no need to drop your arms too far back to where your shoulders start hyperextending. You don't need this. You don't need all this. This way, keep the tension right in the back. Gotta get you set in. Don't just sit and watch. You gotta get you set in. That's all we is. Like whenever I'm like dying underneath the weight, or like it's the last set and it's heavy as shit, that's literally what I repeat to myself over and over. I got to the point where I just say it out loud. But it's one more set, one more rep, one step closer. That's all we need. That's so. all. That was our third set, 12 reps, it's supposed to do 10, but you know what it is. So, what's really cool is my last meal before this, uh, my pre-workout meal is normally oatmeal and a protein shake. I just need something that's quick. I'm one of those dudes I hate working out with a full stomach, so I always do oatmeal, digest quick for me. Literally the pump I'm getting right now from what, one exercise, just from the oatmeal, fantastic. It's pretty dope. Got me feeling good. Got me feeling the gains. Yo, and matter of fact, I know you guys, a lot of you guys are probably seeing this and you're thinking like, all right, this dude's probably been built. At some point, we're gonna like do a video or like do like a little collage showing you where I was eight months ago to now. Crazy, 100% crazy, 100% crazy. But I'm not gonna say it was like, a, like a, a crazy story. I always knew like bodybuilding is what I wanted to do, but I always get motivation from different stuff like, 
we all have demons, we all have stuff that we like go through. This has always been like my kind of way of like venting it out. You know, relationships, you got bad breakup, school is not going right, life hits you, bills start happening. You have a kid, I don't know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Things happen in life and this has always kind of been like my way of dealing with it because imagine it, you know, you have all that stress out there, you come in here and for an hour, an hour and a half, however long you're here, all you really have to worry about is here. You know, all that noise leaves you, you know what I mean? So this to me is like how I calm my mind, I think about everything. But we all have stuff we're going through. Mm -hmm. You know, like not everybody needs to exercise because, oh, I'm trying to be Mr. Olympia. That's me. But, you know, <laughs> Mr. Z. Like, everybody has a reason. Some people just do it to stay active, be healthy. You know, some people, it's, you know, anxiety, stress, depression, a bad breakup. Yo, I'm telling you, you'll never find somebody more motivated than when you get through a bad breakup. You go through a bad breakup, you like, man, screw that girl. I'm going to get this chest. <laughs> and ladies, you got to start doing squats on a daily. <laughs> So everybody has something that motivates them and, and why. We've all been through it. This guy right here has been through it. It helped him with his confidence. Oh, definitely. Um, another thing was I was always lacking confidence, especially in school, high school, before. Um, on the football field, I wasn't as confident freshman year, you know, scrawny and whatnot. Oh, he had an ugly face. <laughs> ugly face. <laughs> I got tried everything, man, the whole nine yards. I, I feel you guys. Like, But to come to the gym, I know like everybody has a different aspect with why they come to the gym. Like, for a personal story, you know, sidetrack real quick, I uh, crashed my car, man. I was stressing, I was worried, I was like, damn, I crashed my car, what am I gonna do? I came to the gym, worry-free, man. It's like, it's just like it left me. By the way, this dude's insane. Just got into a car accident an hour, he's texting me like, yo, where are you at? I'm like, I'm at the gym. He's like, I'm coming. I'm like, bro, don't, what are you talking about? He's like, nah, I need to get out. But some people, I'm not saying that, we're not, I'm not, I'm never gonna recommend don't, I'm not saying don't do what I do or what we yeah, do. Yeah. But for him, getting into that car crash, coming here was the only way he knew how to deal with it. You know what I mean? But I'm not going back on track, just you know, getting tried, oh, you know, you're ugly, you're small, this, this, that. Coming to the gym, man, my confidence shot through the roof. Like I, every day I woke up, I looked in the mirror, you know, anything, you know, guys, you know, testosterone, alpha male and everything. That's what we do. But I just I just love it, man. The process. You gotta trust the process. That's the number one thing, man. All the meals that we eating, um, I usually do rice and chicken. I don't season guys, by the way. <laughs> but you know, no season. Rice and chicken. He only eats chicken. Wait, 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 That's hold on, 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 I'll rest my case, guy. Yo, the other day, not even the other day, I'm sorry. Like a couple months ago, we hit, we hit legs and he was cramping up, dying. Like, <laughs> literally, he couldn't walk. We were going to Walmart and yeah. we literally, I literally have to pick him up and put him in a cart. I'm like, hmm, Cameron, that couldn't be a potassium deficiency, right? Nah, definitely not. Definitely not. I actually had to go in the cart. Do you have the videos of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had, literally had to go in the cart. But you gotta show him, man. That's that hilarious. Was that was insane. But literally, guys, I mean, when it comes to a diet, Keep it basic. Don't start off, you know, complicated. There's tons of, I will say there's tons of people out there that do, um, you know, they offer uh, meal prep or like creating your own meal. But guys, most of the things you need is on the internet nowadays. And keep it basic. Keep it simple. You know, chicken. That's legit as simple as it gets. Grilled rice for your carbs. And then from there, you can start off with what you know you like. It makes it easier to stick to it. You know what I mean? Like, I love sweet potatoes love sweet potatoes okay cool so I'm gonna use that and it's easier for me to stick to I hate broccoli maybe you like asparagus or spinach so you know what I mean pick what you know you like you don't want to just have somebody say hey eat broccoli and you know you hate broccoli because you're not gonna stick to it you know what I mean he just likes chicken no, I don't that's weird so he just eats it six times a day no I'm fine I love my oatmeal protein like that sometimes I crave it especially the morning breakfast I love it man oh yeah breakfast tips I will say this nothing is quicker than oatmeal Period. Well, let's you, mm, you can scramble up some eggs pretty quickly, like egg whites, but what? For, for any of my guys that work a nine to five or like ridiculously early hours, yo, oatmeal, quick one minute, throw it in there, measure out whatever you need, throw it in the microwave, three minutes, boom, you're done, just like that. Um, normally I carry my protein with me and I would show you guys the protein shake I'm kind of using right now. Amazing, not your standard like chocolate vanilla flavor. <laughs> But we don't have it today. I mean, like your charms, though. That's all I gotta say. Um, 
So I'll show you guys that next time. But he, really, what's up? I think he's finally about to get his last set in. I, I'm slacking too. I gotta. Mm. The benefits of having somebody left with you guys is literally to do this. Moments when you're kind of dead, just to spot him, help him out with these extra reps. To push beyond failure. There we go. That's why I will say I am blessed to have these guys on my journey with me because it makes it a lot easier. I know I can count on these guys. I know everyone's not going to always have a training partner, and believe it or not, you really don't need a one. Um, you can use the Smith machine to assist yourself, which is that bad boy right there. It won't drop on you. It's safe, it keeps you in a range of motion that you won't hurt yourself. Pick a weight, be smart, don't be stupid. By that I'm saying, like, don't just jump into an exercise and grab the heaviest weight when you don't have a spotter. Um, and personally, I like working out by myself. I get a better lift. Like, I can just lock in and focus. So, but I am blessed to have these guys. That is for sure. Guys, another trick or tip, really, always bring a jug of water. You don't want to be that guy that has to leave your set, walk all the way away. Remember that, you still bring your jug, you still got to hydrate, man. Moral of the story, bring your jug. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Bring your jug, it's just, hey, it saves time. What are you next? 105, 110, you trying to... Um, honestly, you know what? Big boy weight? Big boy weight. Yeah, let's, let's do some 110. All right. Let's do some 110. 110? Yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, so this is like the top set. So this is like the last set. So typically, we kind of go heavy. Um, for the most part, it, we go to a failure, but we just make sure the least amount of reps we're going to hit is eight. Uh, oh, and by the way, guys, one of the biggest things I can stress to anybody who works out, I know that a lot of people um, always focus on the reps. To not make it so complicated, the reps per se don't matter. I know like everybody goes, oh, if you only gain mass, do 12 reps. But guys, if you pick up a 40 pound dumbbell and you could do it 15 times but you stop at 12, you're really not getting anything from the exercise. When someone says like 12, that means you pick a weight that's heavy enough, you literally die at 12, like you couldn't do more. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm picking up these 40s, I can do 25, but I'm gonna do 12, so I'm gonna get bigger. It's not what it means, so huge thing. Focus on that. Are you gonna pick it up? Yeah, yes. You need a spot? Oh, no, you're going. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, I just went. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's all right. Devon's always ready. Showtime. Hey, hey I'm gonna hand Showtime. I'm gonna hand it to you. All right, cool. Oh. We appreciate it. No See, guys, the benefits. I'm, I, all right, guys, I'm cheating. This is a cheat code. <laughs> having, having partners is a cheat code. Appreciate it. No worries. All right. Mm. All right, guys, we're going to try and hit eight. Keep count for us, guys. Let me know in the comments how many I hit. Woo! Oh. Let's go. Let's hurry. Woo. Same like to say. One set. <laughs> Come on, let's go. One rep. One more set closer. Let's go. Come on. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. Woo! All right, that was good. Woo! So we got eight solo and assisted for about a good three. I barely assisted, but if anything, I just was there. Oh, one time. One more. Another benefit for the gym. You're gonna look at the mirror every single time and just be like, confidence, guys. It, it improves your confidence. Even if like you don't look like some Hulk, just because you know you're comfortable in the gym, something about that, you kind of just you feel confident. You just, you know, like you put on a shirt and it, it's, it fits snug like it didn't, or maybe like you just have to wear like an extra large, you put it on, you're like, damn, this don't fit me no more. I guarantee you, you're gonna be like, or if you have a missus, she's like, damn, babe, you're looking kind of swole. Your whole day, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be like, I'm walking on, hey. son. son. <laughs> Seriously. How about that, son? Let's go, baby. All right, you said eight plus three. I was yeah. a slacker. 
<laughs> Look at that, guys. Don't be that guy. This is what happens when you don't bring your own chuck. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get this. One cent. Woo! I am not even gonna lie to you guys, I'm more excited about my next meal after this. Alright. So hype. Currently, right now, I'm eating six meals a day because I'm trying to add more mass. I started off with five. Wow. Alright. Alright, bro. <laughs> you know when you start dying, when you start pushing your chest like this, like a cheerleader? But, um, <laughs> yeah, currently I'm on six meals, but I started off with five. Um, but I found myself, like, which you'll know, if you find yourself, like, still hungry after you're eating, like, say you're on four meals, and you're, you're working out, you're exercising, but you still find yourself, like, hungry, that's good. Your metabolism's better. If your goal, if your goal is to add on more muscle, that's kind of your body telling you, hey, we can kind of eat. Let's, let's add in another meal. So I'm at six right now. It's working wonders. Um, we have our first show, May 5th. So around May 5th, we're going to start the cutting process. So right now, I'm just trying to add as much size as possible. So I'm on a calorie surplus. Eat more calories. Um, we're about what? We're September? What is that, four months? For what? No. Sure, that's just four months. <laughs> Like six, right? It's like six or seven. For now. what? For till May. Shit. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's like four months left of 2018. So, follow us over here real quick. Corey's already on the next exercise: flat barbell. Now I'm gonna give you guys an option from the incline. You have two choices. You can either go to the barbell, but if you still wanted to focus on the upper pecs more, like I said, I would go on to the Smith machine, which is right over there. We hit some incline. What the How you doing? How you doing, man? Yeah, everything's good, right? Of course. Good. What about yourself? I'm great, guys. Let's go, baby. Like to hear, man. Let's go, baby. Come on. Yup. 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 I might help you. I might help you. You're going to die. Yep. Alright, now I got you. Let's go, baby. What are we going up with? Alright, so I'm gonna go warm up real quick, guys. Give me a second. Oh, we're doing this. Alright. What's up, man? How you doing, boss? Alright. One, two, three, lift. Yep. Usually how it goes, he usually does a weight. I'm always competitive, we always are, but I gotta hit the same thing, man. I can't decide. Let's go. Three. One, two, three, flip. Let's go, baby. You guys are about to watch a naked scene inside of a gym. Look at the excess. Dramatic feature, baby. Guys, why does he have a belt and he's lifting chest? Helps, uh, <laughs> helps. All right, let me I'm just well, pull the answer on my butt real well, quick. Well, you guys don't know, I kind of hurt my back about a month ago. How'd you hurt that? Um, I was being stupid and I kind of like overworked my back. I did a lot of consecutive lower back workouts in like a couple days and it just messed it up. That's what happens when you only eat chicken. You only eat chicken did? Like this. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you, you going to the next? Yeah, I'm doing it. Are you going to do it again? Yeah. 
I don't know what they put in that chicken though. I'll tell you that. Probably okay, number four. Going back with adventures. Alright, Curlin, let's get this. <laughs> what do you say? I said you got this, bro. You can cookies. Yeah, yeah, Smash this. Those excess guys. Come on. Alright. Two. Three, one. Left one. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't hit your PR, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's not my PR. Fuck that shit. What is this, a five? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. It's a big max, guys. <laughs> don't pretend like you're about to win the one. You know you're going to die. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, that was a good set. That was a really good set. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go to the next exercise, cable flies. So follow us. All right. Let's get it. And normally, whenever I do these, I always take the medicine ball, like right over here, sorry, the balancing ball, and put it behind. That with attention, it's phenomenal. It's great. Definitely recommend you guys try this your next chest day. This probably is one of my favorite chest exercises, period. Now the tension is so much more intense. Make sure you squeeze up the top. Normally I throw in, most of my sets are used typically four. I'm typically doing four sets of almost, almost everything. Unless it's, uh, unless I feel like I need to do more. Part of working out, one of the cool things about working out is there's so many different philosophies. There's no one rule to getting big. I'm sure you guys know a lot of different people who are huge or, you know, who are big or strong, but they all have their own way of how they did it. You know, not everybody's like, Hey, I have a huge chest and I bench every exercise. There's dudes that are having a huge chest and they bench last on exercise. So there's so many different ways to do it. Kind of learn your body, you know what I mean? Feel yourself. You feel like you can do an extra set, next rep? Do it. You feel like, ah, I might overdo it? Don't. It's really that simple. You gotta feel it. There's so many different philosophies. And that's why I like fitness. There's just no one rule. Like, his body type is different from my body type, different from his body type. But we can all we all have great physiques, but they're all different. It's a cool thing about it. I think I'm playing. This is no joke, guys. Try this on your next chest. How'd that feel? Hmm? How'd that feel? It should hurt. Extra stretch and damn cuts. And coming for a squeeze at the top. Really fucks the chest up. Nice. It's right here. Really when you squeeze? Doing the people. Oh! He needs some milk! That was just kind of crap. You hear that? That was just kind of crap. That's a chicken only diet. Crap all day. Crap all day. Crap city. That was crazy. Oh, what's that? I'm not gonna lie, these are another favorite of mine. I do them differently. I always lower the seat all the way at the bottom so I can get more of an upper chest. Nine times out of 10, if you see somebody with a chest, bottom's meaty, middle is pretty meaty, and then you look at like the upper, and then it's just like flat. Like what happened to his chest? So I always focus on upper chest oh. no matter what. Up, yeah. Oh, it's pretty low right now. I would drop it, yeah, literally. All the way. Yeah. And before you scientific mother mofos start saying you know yeah oh my god well you can't really target certain part of the muscle it's all again it's all by feeling back in old school bodybuilding arnold Schwarzenegger's, literally they believe 
mind to muscle control that's like a huge thing with bodybuilding is you literally connecting yourself with whatever you're working close your eyes and envision your muscle if it helps better you can really feel your muscle tear and grow yeah. it's a beautiful thing you get a set into this yep yep Oh yeah, my tempo for literally almost anything is almost always slow. I always like to switch up my tempo. <laughs> of course. I mean, you're shocking your muscles. Your body gets to get that adapts. It's just good about the human to adapt to whatever you're doing. So if you're doing the same workouts over and over, your body's gonna adapt to it. That's why you gotta switch it up from time to time. It shocks your body, you're like, holy cow, you're gonna see that results. Literally, it's like, it comes down to, it's so simple, guy. God, people make working out sound so simple. Just make it hard for yourself really is. So all this, you know, scientific stuff we throw out or this different jargon words like tempo, just make it hard on yourself, you know? If you can hit 40 real fast, slow it down. You know what I mean? Make it harder for yourself. That's how you grow, that's how you change. If you can if you can run a mile, what are you going to get from running a mile every day? If you literally can do it without breaking the sweat. You know what I mean? Make it harder for yourself some way. Throw it on the incline. Speed it up maybe. Go longer. There's different ways, but more of the story, just make it harder for yourself. And that's how you go. Ooh. Look at that chest, guys. Look at that chest. He's doing classic. <laughs> you gotta make sure the bars touch each other. That's one rep. How many you did? My chest. That's how much I did. You did two. This guy said, <laughs> look, at said look at my chest. That's how much That's I did. How much I did. Classic as hell. Where we was at? Yeah. Um, those are under construction right now. Don't. We're not gonna focus. We're gonna focus right here, man. Physique right now, okay? Oh yeah. Classic. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> right, cool. After this. We're gonna bust down some triceps and then from there's cardio. That's it, guys. That's gonna be pretty much it. So let's go over there, let's walk over. Smash this. All right. That tricep action, man. You gotta make sure you kick that back. Kick that. Draco. Let's see how long I have my shirt off for. I'm more intrigued by how long you keep your shirt on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where you going? Okay. And kick it out more though. Okay. Twist your wrist. Kick it out more. My athletic sense. Hey, you guys didn't even know, but I used to play football. It's the athletic sense right here. I'm ready. I'm ready. What's up? You wouldn't know about that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I didn't play any sports. Yeah, I school. play travel team, right? Don't listen to this. Travel team, what? <laughs> <laughs> they, they offer me enough money. <laughs> I was trying to be like ODB out there, they didn't want to pay me, so I left. <laughs> oh, yeah. OBJ, bro. Who is that? No, no, no. Who is o that? Oh, no. Who is that? Oh, yeah, OB OBJ, whatever. <laughs> hey, same difference, but he likes skin oh, niggas, bro. Same difference. Oh, wow. Bro, you messed up my hey, game. Go home. Go home. Hey, ODB's old dirty sports. bastard. True that, <laughs> boy. Sports wasn't your thing. For all y'all back in the day, old dirty bastard, by the way. I'm talking about who. <laughs> Where at? He's trying to cover this up. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit by so. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. That was the last exercise because we hit every muscle group twice. So certain muscle groups, like today, was predominantly chest. So we only just doing one thing for uh, triceps. But next exercise, next lifting day, we'll focus more on it. Again, Cameron, Corey, and it's divine.
and my main man, Windows Me, behind the camera. Make sure you guys like. Yay. Huge props. We appreciate you guys, and I appreciate the cameraman for these dope videos. Good night, guys. And again, guys, find your reason why. Whatever it is to bring you, if it's happiness, whatever it may be, just, just do it, you know? Happiness is really all that really matters. So whatever makes you happy, do it.